You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life, we don't take life too seriously, and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen, and today we have Joy Uncle here, and we are going to be talking about the pressures of marrying Kananaya. Cue the intro. the father of one of my really good friends, Shoma, and so I'm, I'm thankful for you to do this with me. I've had my dad and my mom on the show before, and you're the first uncle on the show, and so I'm excited. So today we're going to talk about the pressures of Mary, Mary and Kananaya. I've been doing a series with four different perspectives mm -hmm. to hear from different people with their journey and their story because it's a personal journey, right? That is correct. Yeah. So, um, what is the Kanana community to you? The Kanana community is second in my life. Yeah. The first is my family. Second, I love the Kanana community. Yeah. And the existence of Kanana community completely depends on the endogamy nature of that community. Without the, without keep keeping the endogamy, this community cannot exist. Few of the people are getting uh, married from outside the community. Uh, that should be acceptable, but you know they are not part of the community. So, what was your involvement in the Kanana community? I know you and your family were very involved, right? I was the first general secretary of KCCNA, which is the national organization. Mm -hmm. And 2005 to 2007, I was the president of that organization. Yeah. KCCNA means Kanana Catholic. Community of the Association of North America. And then we have an association here in Chicago, one of the members of KCCN, which is KCS, Kanana Catholic Society. And I was the third secretary of KCS, and then I've been the president for two times yeah. the Kanana Catholic Society. And I'm so proud. I have learned a lot of th things about the community and a lot of experiences because being part of that organizations. Yeah, and your children have as well, right? Jisha and Jimmy. Jisha was uh, president of KCYL of Chicago as well as general secretary of KCYL NA. And Jimmy was a president of KCYL as well as KCYL NA, mm -hmm. youth organization. Yeah, so your family has been very involved. Very involved. Yeah, uh, it's definitely a, something close to your family. Very close, but right now, because you know, when I get older, I think I should sit in the back seat, mm -hmm. let the younger generation take over. Yeah. So right now I go and enjoy all the functions of the community, but not not in, in the front row. Yeah, I understand. When your children were growing up and coming to the age to get married, do you feel like you pressured them to marry Kananaya? I didn't have to pressure them on that situation because I was from childhood onwards. Uh, I was teaching them, showing them Kanai community mm -hmm. and the good things of that, being part of it. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but they all came through that one and Jisha got married from a Jewish guy. Well, when we go back, our origin is from Jewish community mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she still uh, keep the religion. and. Uh, and they have a very successful married life. I'm very happy with that too. Mm -hmm. And uh, her husband is a very caring, loving person. So I'm so proud of that. But, you know, not in the Kananaya community. Right. His character is really important to you in the, in, for, in the situation with Jisha and her husband. Sure. The right. character is very important and the family is very important. Mm -hmm. And care, loving and caring each other is very important, which they are doing it. and. And at this time, I'm so happy of their married life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and how did it make you feel originally, like with, you know, Jimmy marrying a Kananaya and then Jisha marrying a non Kananaya? Well, when Jisha decided to marry Seth, his name is Seth, mm -hmm. I was really upset on that. Yeah. Actually, uh, one and a half to two years, I was so strict on her and told her, no way you're going to get married. Yeah. And she was living in New York and she came five times here in Chicago to talk to me about it. Each time when she asked me, come over, let's talk. But when she come and we opened the subject, I don't have nothing to tell you other than don't marry anybody from 
other than the, our community. Yeah. But uh, two years later, uh, she told me that without your permission, I will not get married. But if I marry, I marry only Seth. Mm -hmm. That is your decision. Take it, and we will not have any more talk about it. This is my stand. I will st be like that. Then I thought, for me, when that when the choices are gone, I might I thought my for me the my children are most important than the community yeah. at that time. Right. So I agreed to her, and they got married. And uh, my other two children, they have seen the things which I was going through when she was my daughter was getting married from outside the community, mm -hmm. and uh, I never taught them anything. But they thought themselves, if they marry, they marry only a Ghanaian community person because mm -hmm. what I went through, uh, they have seen it. Yeah. The generation, our generation, has a problem of our children marrying from outside of the community. But when the next generation comes, things will be different. Yeah. But uh, hopefully this will still exist. Yeah. I think, you know, for my dad had a similar story, right? Like accepting my oldest sister and um, her choice in the right. beginning, but it just takes time, right? right. And it, I'm, I'm so thankful for you to be open about that process, right? Because I think a lot of people just think like, no, like the answer is no, and then it's done. Yeah. But you know, you as a, as an, you know, as an adult, we can continue to grow and learn and change. And you know, you're in your 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 seventies. I'm seventy two. Yeah. So you're step, <laughs> and that was how how many years ago was that when she got married? She got married about now thirteen years, I believe. Right. So mm -hmm. you were in your late fifties. Right. Right. And so even as in you know a man that's in their late fifties you still can like change it just takes time it takes time see mm -hmm. i'm here for, i am in america more than the time i lived in india yep this is the 43rd year i'm here in this country mm -hmm. but still am i americanized no yeah there's definitely things about you that are americanized but you're still an, yeah. a, a proud indian man there's no doubt in that indian yeah. man and the granai gathered community yeah of course i'm proud of it and i want that to exist the rest of the years. One thing I was thinking about is um, the importance between religion and culture. Which to you is more important? Both. Okay. So I, I, to me, both are very important for mm -hmm. me. There are con uh, confusions within the people about the question which you asked. Mm -hmm. People mix the community and the religion. Yeah. When you mix, you have a problem. Yeah. In the church, you know, you cannot exclude anybody who is a practicing Catholic. Yep. You cannot exclude them from the church. Mm -hmm. That's the church law. So there, we should have little aliens. But in the association, we should be strict in the endogamous nature, teach the children and the community and the family. So you feel like if someone were to marry outside of the Canadian community and they have children, they should be welcome in our church? They should be welcome the, the church for the religious matters. Religious but functions. Not, yeah. the, not the members. Yeah, That's which is good. tricky, right? Yeah. It's, it's a hard because, it, yeah. it, because it's intertwined and it's, yeah. it's so connected. Um, and so I don't know what the right solution is. A solution is that's the only solution at this time. Mm -hmm. See, if then we say that you are splitting the family. Mm -hmm. It's not splitting the family. Yeah. The other option is given. This person can join at the Sri Ramalabar church. Yeah. They all can enjoy everything in there. They, right. Uh, and if the the person who born to Kanana parents, if they wanted to stay here, that is their choice. Yeah. To be together or to be separated is their choice. Right. And I think that's a big part of it. It's a choice, right? You're making yeah. a choice to decide to marry outside of the Kanani community yeah. and deciding on what ne what's next. You already know what those consequences are. Right. And so you're making that decision. Yeah. I think, yeah, the thing that is challenging for some people is, you know, as Catholics, as Christians, we're supposed to be welcome. We're supposed to be accepting. We want people to come to the side, to our side, and yeah. practice Catholicism. So I think there's a little bit of, of a challenge there when people are like, wait, but our religion is supposed to be welcoming. And so, yeah, that, that's the tricky part about separating the community and the religion. Um, but I think what you said is how people sometimes get treated. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Once they leave the community, that's the part that I think I have a challenge with and I get frustrated with on how people are treated once they leave the community. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, they should not be a treated. Yeah. I mean, because of the reasons, their own reasons, mm -hmm. they may, I mean, they also should feel that 
um, after the marriage, I'm not part of this community. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm not part of um, so. Uh, they should be aware. They should. They can. They. They, they should understand that. Do you feel that people subconsciously treat non kananayas differently? You know, it depends upon the individuals. Yeah. We should not. And if you do that, you're not right. Yeah. Because if you simply think, how can you th treat them bad? Right. You are not doing everything within Granaya community. Mm -hmm. I go to school other than a Granaya people's school. Mm -hmm. Where I go to work. Yeah. Not the Granaya community's place. Yeah. Um, so we, when they they are all accepting us there, mm -hmm. whether it's as Ramalabar or even American churches, right. on their facilities, when we go there and work, um, there's no problem. Right. So why we Ill Ill treat when they come for some when, uh, for the, to attend the church? We right. should not ill treat nobody. Right. Not only the non grana or zero, even the American person comes to church yeah. to s see the mass. We should allow we should them. Welcome it. We should welcome them. That is mm -hmm. a church. That is a church. That is the difference between the church and the community. Mm -hmm. When they come to our community center, that's a different story. Right. And I think like. I think about when we did the Paranal at the St. Mary's Church, mm -hmm. you know, locals were coming and watching and they were observing and I think that's beautiful too when when it's the right and appropriate situation to share the, the traditions and, the, and um, the culture with the local community because we're also in their space, right? We're in their local environment and so just to be a good community member. When you said that, mm -hmm. I wanted to add one more thing. Yeah. When we bought the church um, in Secretary Church in mm -hmm. Maywood, mm -hmm. uh, we had the procession, big procession. Uh, in the, we, we take the permission from the mayor and we have the big procession around the street. Mm -hmm. On the street stop, blocking all the uh, transportation. Yeah. And all the neighbors, mainly the, there are African American people live there. And yeah. all, this is a mixed area. All the people come outside, watch us going in yeah. and appreciate it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing for them and mm -hmm. they have never seen it. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of good cultures in our community. We should keep yeah. it and we, we should go along with it. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes me think of something with like in regards to the black community within our community, how we feel about the black community. Do you have anything you would like to say about that? You know, when you're black, white or yellow, <laughs> when the skin is gone, all the blood is red, mm -hmm. the flesh is white. Yeah, we're all God's children. We are all God's children. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there are people think, you know, in my experience, if same education and background, the African American person and white person, the caring person is the African American person. Mm -hmm. When we were here in the beginning, you know, there were a, a car stuck someplace, or we are battery dead, or whatever the reason, even African American, they come and help us. Mm -hmm. The other people just walk away. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, we are every community. There are bad and good people. Exactly. In. So you look at your own finger. Mm -hmm. All the five fingers are different. Yep. So the same way the people are different in every community. One or two person does something wrong and we go after that. Right. It doesn't define the community. No, it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that. What are your thoughts on when um, someone marries non kanana and they have um, Kanane traditions at their wedding? See, I, let me tell you another example for that. Yeah. Uh, you know the Margangali? Yeah. It is our tradition. It's Knanaya tradition? It is a Knanaya tradition. Okay. We probably do that. Okay. Our Bishop Kundasheri and Father Kollavar will both passed away. Mm -hmm. They went to the universities years together and to put this an item in the university festival. Mm -hmm. Now, many of the times, you know who the winners? Not a Knanaya people. Okay. Non Knanaya. We should be proud of that. Okay. When the others, not only the when the others do our culture, it is uh, we should be proud that it is our culture. It is not theirs. But mm -hmm. if they do it, they see something good. Yeah, I like that. I I, I think it's a way of it's appreciation. But it's a show. Right. Sure. Then you know when they do our tradition, they think it's a good thing. Yeah. They appreciate that. That's right. why they are doing it. Right. It's a celebration of these traditions yeah. and cultures. And I, I'm yeah. so happy that you have that perspective because I I appreciate it. I think it should be shared more. I think the more people that have exposure to it, the more we can all learn. Yeah, Burmarian. After they marry, it is a blessing to the couples. Mm -hmm. Praying to Mary. Mm -hmm. 
And the people complained about it when non Gnana wedding, if somebody sing that song. Yeah. They are praying. What's the harm? <laughs> What's the harm? See, we should be proud. It's our, if those cultures are brought by our forefathers. What is your advice to parents um, that have children in regards to marrying Kananaya? In regards to uh, marrying Kananaya or non Kananaya? Both, right? Like what's what's um, your advice? Uh, um, uh, my advice is from the childhood itself. I thought my I brought up my children in a very nice way, but uh, you, now I look back and think I should have been a little more careful and a little more open to my children. Mm -hmm. You see, when the, when initially, uh, and I was so strict with my children. Okay. Don't do that, don't do this. You know, when they, if they asked me, I said, because I said so. Yeah. Now, when I think about it, I feel ashamed of myself. That's okay. It's now, part of, it's part of now, growing up. Yeah. Growing. Now I'm so open with my children. They can tell me anything they want. We will discuss anything and everything. So that whatever they have, they will openly tell you. What I wanted to tell you, the new parents, be so close to your children, open to them and discuss with them. Tell them about the good things of the Knanaya community and, uh, and the good things of being part of that community mm -hmm. and bring them up to that nature. See, in our time, choices were less. Yep. For, especially Jishar's age, the ages over 40, who were born here, uh, the choices were less. Mm -hmm. I remember when uh, Jishar was in college, he said, Daddy, I'm talking to somebody as a boyfriend. I said, no. <laughs> I, I told you, it was like Knanaya. I, I said, no, you, you can oh, have a boyfriend cool. only after 23 or 24 years old, mm -hmm. or you finish your college. Yeah. I did a, you know, the mistake. I said, I, I will tell the new parents, encourage them. Yeah. Encourage them and then let them select the right person um, and marry the Glanaya person. Now, the other thing is, how, what's my advice to the per, uh, kids who marry outside from the community? You know, uh, they, they are missing a lot of things after the marrying from outside the community. Individually, if you sit down and talk to them, they will explain to you that. To me, uh, my children, my family is important than the community. Yeah, so that's your priority. Yeah. Uh, when my children grown, when Jisha was married, when she got married, she was 29. Mm -hmm. See, after 30 years, it's very, it's very hard to get, a, get married. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, it has to be done. Uh, that's what my opinion. So when the children are getting older and if they don't get uh, somebody of the, from, the, from the community, give them the choice mm -hmm. and be, be with them. They will have a good life. Yeah, I think it's, um, I'm a pre I appreciate that. You know, it's, a, it's supporting your kids and knowing that you, you taught them, you raised them, right? And then they can make that choice. They know what's best for them, right? And I think that can be the case with a lot of things, career choices, partner oh, yeah. choices. They should know best. I see a lot of value in this community. I have a husband. I have a I have another extended family that's Kananaya, my own family. There's so many great things about this community. There are, you know, definitely challenges and that's why I'm having these conversations. So we could hear yeah, stories uh, uh, and perspectives. As you said, why a person who married outside wanted to be part of it? Because he or she thinks there is something good here. There is. Otherwise, they want to come back. People who are fighting to be in it, mm -hmm. uh, they are missing few things in the community. Yeah. I'm not saying the other communities are bad. No. But there are so, so many There's something good, special. Something special in Kanana Catholic community. Mm -hmm. That's why they wanted to be back in. Yeah. And I know that there's a, 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 you know, there's definitely people, like young people, that are frustrated with things, and that's okay too. Um, I think, you know, that's the reason why I wanted to have these conversations, so we could talk about the great things, and we could talk about these challenges, and just have a conversation. Like you said, you weren't as open with your kids growing up, right? No. And that's why now you see the value, right? You see the value in communicating. I, I'm very close with my parents too. You know, they may not love everything I say to them, but they know that it's true. Right? They know I'm being honest. Yeah. And so that's the, that's the reason why I have this show. Um, you know, I want people to have conversations. Please, you know, reach out to me. I have, um, I'm doing a series with four people on the pressures of marrying Kananaya. And so I'm excited to release this. And um, I appreciate you for being here. And yeah, th that's what the Upside Down Smiley show is. It's about conversation and talking about real things, things that matter. And I appreciate you all watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.